Hello, welcome to the course on LookSense Edge Compute. Though we say IoT is the internet of things, not all devices connect directly to the internet. Devices that are connected through Modbus, Bluetooth, Ethernet IP, and the like are internet enabled through a gateway. This gateway serves as the connection between the device itself and the internet. Without Edge, devices can only send data to LOSANT via MQTT and HTTP. This means we need an easy way to read data from this internal device network and send this information to the cloud. This is generally how LOSANT Edge Compute is used and all of it is facilitated through the LOSANT Edge agent. At its most basic level, LOSANT Edge is all about building Edge-specific workflows in the cloud and deploying them down to a device running the Edge agent. Because most of the power of the workflow engine, we get this awesome no-code way of deploying logic to one or even an entire fleet of devices. Pretty darn cool. What's also cool is that we get all of the other promised benefits of Edge. The Edge agent takes care of listening, downloading, and executing Edge workflows at the device level. So if a device were to lose internet connection, the agent can still execute workflows, make decisions, and save data offline until a connection is restored. Another benefit of edge computing is data filtering. Let's say we are reading a high frequency sensor like vibration. It would not be too wise to send all of this data to the cloud. Instead, we want to filter and aggregate the data and then send that to the cloud. Because a workflow is logic, we can easily build this filtering and aggregation logic inside of a workflow. Lastly, because the Edge agent is always listening to workflow updates from the cloud, as you make changes and redeploy Edge workflows, you get a simple way to support over-the-air updates. As long as the device is connected, you can push updates to it from the cloud. Best of all, if you're familiar with application workflows, you already know how to use and deploy Edge workflows, but there are slight differences. Application workflows are run and processed in LOSANS cloud environment. On the other hand, edge workflows are run and processed on a device. This difference in environments mean that things that happen in the cloud can not happen on the edge and vice versa. For example, the node support is different. You have access to some nodes in both, some only in the cloud, and some only on the edge. For the rest of this course, I will be sure to talk about any other edge cases. We will also cover installing and running the Edge agent, building and deploying Edge workflows, and cover specific Edge workflow nodes and why they are important. But for now, that's all for your introduction. I look forward to walking you through Edge Compute. I'll see you in the next video.